Ignacio, you just published a new book on the regulation of the power sector. Can you tell me something of the idea behind this book? Why and when you decided to publish this book? This book is somehow the accumulated knowledge that we bring together uh, a group of um, researchers and faculty at the Institute for Research and Technology at the uh, Comillas University in Madrid. Uh, we have put together, uh, based on our experience, uh, some teaching courses in different contexts and, and also uh, with our experience as advisors and consultants in, in many places. Uh, about It was three years ago that we decided to collect all this material and experiences into a textbook. Uh, it has been hard, but we have it now. Um, this book, therefore, is a collective work. So it is centered about um, a, a regula regulation course that has been taught in multiple contexts and, and that has been enriched, as I said before, with our experiences uh, working with the administration and companies, industries, uh, in many places. Um, I started teaching that course in 1992 uh, at the engineering school of Comillas University. And uh, actually, uh, all the co-authors of the book have been students of mine during these courses. Um, it, later, I was asked by the Council of European Energy Regulators to teach a course aimed at the staff of um, energy regulatory commissions in Europe. And the first edition of that course took place in 2002. And that course uh, became very soon the flagship um, activity of the Florence School of Regulation within the Robert Schumann Center at the European University Institute in Florence. And we continue teaching this course every year with a large number of students. Um, the material for the book initially came from in a learning course that we had to teach sponsored by the World Bank for staff of um, Latin American regulatory commissions and uh, ministries. And that, that material was in Spanish, so it was the idea of the Florence School of Regulation to translate that into English and to become uh, the support for the e-learning course that we are teaching, as I said before, every year. Um, uh, so the, the book is really based on that material, although it presents the, the topics in a more advanced manner. Uh, the material of the course has been tested for during the last two years in the courses that I teach both at Comillas University and at MIT, the Massachusetts Institute of Technology. So a long uh, story yeah. of this book, uh, very comprehensive. What uh, topics does the book uh, cover? Well, the book tries to cover both uh, liberalized um, and traditional approaches to regulation because uh, all over the world we have um, countries that still are with one approach or the other. And the book is organized into four blocks. There is an introduction that uh, describes uh, a power system under the viewpoints of engineering, economics and regulation. Then there is a second block that presents the fundamentals of uh, regulation of monopolies and regulation of markets. Then we go to the description of regulation um, of the different activities uh, that constitute supply of electricity, and that is, uh, well, transmission, distribution, uh, generation, retailing, um, system operation, etc. And then we go to the transversal topics, and uh, the transversal topics are tariffs, uh, regional markets, environmental regulation, the interaction between gas and electricity, security of supply, new challenges in the power sector. And uh, so it follows uh, my philosophy of teaching, which is the, what I call the onion layer. So we start with the, uh, some a very uh, broad path to regulation, then we go to the specifics of the different activities, and then we go to the transversal topics. Uh, so people get a, a better understanding of uh, the matter. Ignacio, who will find this book useful? We are aiming the book to a wider audience uh, because we are putting together both the academic research that we have been doing and the practical experiences of advisors and consultants in many different projects. So it, it, it is valid, I think it will be useful for uh, regulators of um, uh, regulatory authorities, uh, people who work uh, in uh, energy companies or in related activities. 
uh, researchers at the universities, people in government administration. So I think it's, it's a wide, a wide spectrum. Because as I said, we we are bringing together both the academic side and our experience in the real field. Mm -hmm. Okay, so if you want um, uh, interesting reading, here is the book. <laughs> Thank you, Ignacia. I will enjoy reading it.